have a set of three non-collinear points. There can be only one circle which passes through all three of them. This is our circle theorem. Let's see how to prove it. Let the three non-collinear points be A, B and C. To begin with, we'll join AB and AC. Now, let's draw the perpendicular bisector for the line AB. We'll mark the point of intersection as P. Now, we can say that AP and PB are equal. Next, let's come to line AC. We'll construct a perpendicular bisector for this line as well. Let the point of intersection be Q. So, AQ is equal to QC. Now, mark the point of intersection of the two perpendicular bisectors as point O. Then, we'll join OA, OB and OC. Next, let's consider the triangles OBP and OAP. Here, the side OP is common to both the triangles. Angle OPB and angle OPA are both equal to 90 degrees. Also, the sides PB and PA are both equal. So, according to SAS congruence property, we can say that these two triangles are congruent and that means the corresponding sides OA and OB are both equal. In a similar manner, we can also prove that the triangles OCQ and OAQ are both congruent, which means the sides OA and OC are equal. From these two statements, we can conclude that OA, OB and OC are all equal, which means the point O is equidistant from the points A, B and C. So, O becomes the center and OA or OB or OC becomes the radius. Now let's draw the circle. One more point to note here is we have only one point of intersection of the two perpendicular bisectors. That means we can have only one point which is equidistant from all the three non-collinear points. And that again means we can have only one circle that passes through these three points. 